The movie commences within an Arctic setting, where CEO Victoria Cord, Susan Sarandon, of Cord Industries arrives to meet her loyal subordinate, Ignacio Carapax, Raul Max Trujillo, and the lead scientist, mistakenly calling him Dr. Sanchez, Harvey Guillen. Their crew is engaged in mining operations to unearth the scarab, a highly sought-after item that Victoria has been pursuing for a long time. Meanwhile, Jamie Reyes, Zolo Mariduena, returns to his hometown, Palmera City, after completing his college education. His parents, Alberto, Damian Alcazar, and Rocio, Elpidia Carrillo, his sister Milagro, Belisa Escobedo, grandmother Nana, Adriana Barraza, and uncle Rudy, George Lopez, all gather to celebrate his achievement. After a celebratory taco outing, Milagro shares some news with Jamie. The family is facing the threat of losing their home due to increased rent, and Jamie also learns about Alberto's recent heart attack. Despite their challenges, the family is determined to weather the storm together. Jamie takes up a job alongside Milagro at Victoria's mansion. Upon spotting Victoria, he's eager to introduce himself, given his awareness of her work. Jamie witnesses a confrontation between Victoria, Carapax, and Jenny Cord, Bruna Marquezine, Victoria's niece and Ted's daughter. Ted, Victoria's brother, mysteriously disappeared, leaving her to take control of his company. Jenny opposes Victoria's plan to revive the OMAC, One Man Army Corp, project, which her father had shut down years ago. When Carapax gets too close to Jenny, Jamie intervenes, leading to both Jamie and Milagro losing their jobs. However, Jenny offers Jamie her contact information for a potential job interview at Cord Industries. Later, Jamie has a heartfelt conversation with Alberto about his future and family, which encourages him to consider Jenny's offer. The following day, Jenny infiltrates the laboratories at Cord Industries and discovers that Victoria is utilizing the scarab in her experiments. Fearing the potential dangers, Jenny steals the scarab and conceals it in a fast food container. When Dr. Sanchez realizes that the scarab is missing, he orders a lockdown of the facility. Jamie happens to be in the building and encounters Jenny as she exits the elevator. Recognizing Jamie's willingness to help, Jenny entrusts him with the container containing the scarab, instructing him not to open or touch it, and to guard it with his life. Jamie brings the scarab home to his family, and despite his earlier instructions, they persuade him to open the container and examine the scarab closely. As they play around with it, the scarab activates in Jamie's hand, fusing into a suit around his body, and propels him into the sky. The suit, now housing a consciousness called Kajita, Becky G, tests its capabilities, sending Jamie soaring across the city, inadvertently causing damage. Eventually, the suit returns Jamie home, leaving his family astonished. While they consider involving the police, Rudy cautions against it, as their undocumented status might complicate matters. Jamie seeks out Jenny as she flees from Cord Industries, pursued by Victoria's armed guards. He retrieves Rudy's truck, which is full of bullet holes, and rescues Jenny. She explains to his family the nature of the scarab and how it appears to have chosen Jamie as its host. The family is skeptical of Jenny due to her affiliation with the Cords, whom they perceive as indifferent to people like them. However, Jamie trusts Jenny's ability to help remove the scarab. Jenny takes Jamie and Rudy back to Cord Industries so she can retrieve a smartwatch. They encounter Carapax, now wearing an OMAC prototype suit, who attacks them. Jamie's suit activates, and Kajita takes control, employing an array of weapons to defend them. When Carapax is incapacitated, Kajita aims for lethal force, but Jamie refuses, asserting that he's not a killer. Carapax recovers and nearly defeats Jamie, belittling his strength due to his love for his family. However, with Rudy and Jenny's assistance, they manage to neutralize Carapax and escape. Jenny guides them to her childhood home, where she uses the smartwatch to access Ted's laboratory. Rudy recognizes Ted's suits, as they belong to the former superhero known as the Blue Beetle. They also discover a suit worn by Ted's predecessor, Dan Garrett, who passed on the mantle to Ted after Kajita didn't choose him. Rudy learns that the scarab can't be removed from Jamie without causing his death. It has become symbiotic, meant to protect him. Afterward, Jenny and Jamie share a private moment, discussing personal losses and Jamie's family support. Their almost romantic moment is interrupted by Rudy's entrance. From an external vantage point, Jenny observes a helicopter affiliated with Victoria en route to Palmera City. For Jamie, this signals Victoria's intent to target his family. 
Responding swiftly, he launches himself from the rooftop to summon his suit, allowing him to take flight. As anticipated, Victoria's henchmen arrive, forcibly extracting the family from their home, while she hovers above in the helicopter, waiting for Jamie's appearance. Amid the chaos, a fire ignites within the house. Jamie arrives just in time and employs non-lethal tactics to fend off the assailants. Amid the chaos, Nana and Rocio manage to escape, but two henchmen attempt to apprehend Milagro and Alberto. Jamie intervenes, freeing his family, yet Alberto experiences a sudden cardiac arrest. During the struggle, Carapax employs a grappling hook to immobilize Jamie. Seizing the opportunity, Victoria seizes Jamie, leaving him powerless to prevent his father's passing. As his family mourns around him, their home engulfed in flames, Jamie can only watch. In the aftermath, the Reyes family grieves Alberto's loss and the destruction of their home. Nana urges them to set aside their sorrow momentarily and focus on rescuing Jamie. Jenny guides the family to Ted's lab, where they gain access to a beetle-shaped airship. This vessel will carry them to an island where Victoria conducts her experiments. Additionally, they are provided with Ted's weaponry, including a formidable minigun, a skill Nana has mastered due to her revolutionary background. Victoria subjects Jamie to a machine designed to extract the Scarab's powers for transfer to Carapax's OMAC suit. Dr. Sanchez proceeds despite the risks, well aware of the potential danger to Jamie's life. Meanwhile, the Reyes family and Jenny crash land the airship at Victoria's base. Guided by Rudy, the ship obliterates guards in their path. Jenny and Milagro venture out to locate Jamie, equipped with a shield-generating weapon. They uncover Victoria's plan to mass-produce Omax for warfare. In the midst of the procedure, Jamie finds himself on the brink of unconsciousness, existing in a realm between life and death. He encounters the spirit of Alberto, who confirms his passing. Although Jamie yearns to join his father, Alberto implores him to embrace his destiny as the Blue Beetle. With a touch, Jamie synchronizes with his suit, and the Scarab merges with his consciousness. At the exact moment of the power transfer, Jenny triggers an explosion that disrupts the process, setting Jamie free. Carapax, now equipped with his own suit, eliminates Dr. Sanchez, Jose de la Cruz, and pursues Jamie. With the aid of Nana's minigun onslaught and Milagro's assistance, Jamie combats the guards. The confrontation escalates into a rematch with Carapax. United with the Scarab, Jamie deploys his suit's weaponry, his anger ignited when he witnesses Carapax targeting Rudy. Yet, an intervention from Kajita halts his lethal strike, revealing Carapax's tragic past and his coerced transformation into a weapon by Victoria. Victoria attempts to flee by helicopter, holding Jenny captive. However, Jenny employs a gum invented by Ted, causing the helicopter to crash back onto the island. Kajida informs Jamie that Carapax is overloading the OMAC core, risking a catastrophic explosion. Despite Victoria's orders, Carapax rebels, dragging her towards the impending blast, guided by a vision of his mother. Jamie joins his family on the airship, soaring into the sky as the island, OMAX suits, Victoria, and Carapax are consumed by the detonation. Grieving for Alberto, the family finds solace in each other's presence. Days later, Jenny assumes the role of Cord Industries' CEO, declaring an end to weapon production. The Reyes family holds a funeral for Alberto, followed by a heartening display of community support back home. Determined to rebuild, the family is surprised by Jenny's promise to replace their lost home. Jamie and Jenny share a kiss before ascending into the sky in his Blue Beetle suit, cheered on by their family. Help.